first, uh, first I'd like to uh, thank uh, Rabbi Mostovsky Shlita for the one who's you know, behind all these uh, nice ideas and things and uh, this whole kinos uh, we're having tonight. Uh, he's the spearhead of all, you know, all the, all the tircha that goes in, you know, he's shlapping here, shlapping there, you know, you come, shulchan aruch lufanecha, but uh, when you see shulchan aruch lufanecha, you have to realize that there was someone, there was someone behind who take, took care of every detail you know, besides calling everyone up and giving the food and uh, and the stand and this and that, uh, all the all the things that went. So we appreciate uh, very much. And we're gonna <laughs> miss him too. But, uh, I guess we can have kind of separate. This week's picture: Ein Ochi Nosi Lefnechem Hayom Barachu Klala. You have a choice, a bracha or a klala. So the sefrei gives a moshel. The moshel is the following. You have a person who's directing, directing traffic. And there are two paths. One path has a lot of thorns. And one path is uh, nothing there. It seems to be a clear path. He's directing traffic and he's telling everyone to go where the thorns are going, where the thorns are. So he's telling everybody. Everyone's perplexed. You know, why are you telling us to go to the thorns? The other seems to be a uh, very straight uh, path, nothing there. So he explains because even though there are thorns in this path, that's only for the first two miles. But the rest is clear. This path. Is, looks easy in the beginning, but the rest of the way for the next uh, 50 miles is full of kotsim and uh, is not uh, is not a good path. And I think the, the path of bracha was the one that had the thorns in the beginning, but was clear for the rest of the way. The path of the klala. You know, it was easy in the beginning, but there was a lot of thorns the rest of the way, and he was recommending everyone to go thorns in the beginning, because the rest will be okay. And that's the bracha. Because bracha comes with a melus. Anything that means something in life, you have to work for it. I mean, we're in a generation that likes to get things easy, and, you know, uh, years ago they said, that Chaim Zimmerman used to say, you know, this generation, you press a button and you get to whatever you want. You know, but the real things that are value in life is an amelus. And I see that here in the yeshiva as well. People like to get the some easy way out of, of learning, easy way out. But, you know, like the Chazanish said, that this generation doesn't like to learn Marshall because Marshall is hard. Like work through a marsha, it's easy to open up a safer, have a simple hakira, and have three nafkaminas, and, and, and you know it's easy. Amelus, and I'm, and anything you're all for, that's going to have kiyum. Things that go easy look like you're getting a lot. In the end, it's not going to have so much kiyum. And when I think of Rachmiel uh, Shlita, so I think of this chazal. Because he's an individual, whatever he does, whether Rachmiel is the Rebbe, Rachmiel as the Chazan, Rachmiel as the, as, uh, the whatever area that, that he does, it's always with full amelos. And that's bracha. Because bracha means his key. And, and, that's, and that's what. Uh, what his mahus says to me. You know, it's not something that comes easy. Whatever. He puts in effort. He's there every morning with the dafyomi. He's there at every, everything. He's putting that, that melus in. And that's what he represents. Whatever, and it, it'll shift to whatever area he's going to uh, be involved in. 
whether it's Washington Heights, whether it's in the five towns, whether it's in Calvary, whether it's uh, in this uh, yeshiva that he taught with, in this base measures and that base measures. But that mahus of, of Omel, of the bracha, that the bracha comes with the coaxim in the beginning. And the end, the end is going to be uh, Mishor. And that's, I think, something that we have to learn. And the Pasuk of Re'e, you know, the Gemara says in Sanhedrin, was the brachas and calls and our reason and Evo, was also the Kabbalah of Arvis. It was the communal Kabbalah, that it's not only for Zechalein, but it's, it's for the community. And, and that's what uh, Rafael is all about. It's not only about himself, it's about the community. It's, you know, so many Purims we spent together, hopefully we should spend more together. You know, Purim, Tishabobs have, you know, it's interesting to say that, there's so many Tishabobs that we, we, we spent together in a different mind frame. But, uh, you know, it was always Rachmiel was, you know, the Chofetz Chaim Heritage video and the Kamsa Bar Kamsa and the, you know, you know, I already got tired, you know, after the Kines of Katsos, but he's still, uh, he's still there. Till, uh, till the end of Kamsa Bar Kamsa, you know, and, uh, and that's a, something that we can all learn from. And, you know, wherever he goes, you know, the spearhead that, uh, that community and that, uh, that chesed, that learning, whatever, whatever it is, the, the coaxin, Hazorim Bedimma, Berina Yitzorim, you know, some things uh, have to be Bedimma, but in the end, Worthwhile. That's what I always used to say about you know finals of the college. You know, after the last final, you felt that sense of relief. You, but you wouldn't have had that good sense if you didn't have all that uh, all that work that beforehand. And that final, that was the uh, arena you saw. But uh, but, um, but that's that's the idea. And uh, as Rabbi Cohen said, we're not saying goodbye because this is not. Uh, this is just. It'll be a little. You know, a little distant, but you know the phone will still be working, and uh, we'll see each other at hopefully on good occasions for all of us to reunite together, together with our meal. And uh, you know, I I wish uh, we we would be here longer in the community, but whatever. Ashkocha has it. You know, that Baruch Hu is uh, is the mashkiach in the whole world, and he's deciding, even though. It seems that people are deciding you know, this one ends up, but that one's ends up. But the master upstairs is really deciding all these, all these things. Because that's what Chazal say. Hakadosh Baruch Hu is mazavik zivugim. And after the six, six days of gracious, he's mazavik zivugim. And and the Farshim say it's not only ish isha, It's which person is going to be in which community? Which person is going to be in which stellar? Which you know all these all these zivugim are, are the master plans, but the we understand it right away, or we don't understand it right away, and we believe everything is going to be Latova, and we wish uh, good health and nachas from the whole mishpacha, and uh, and should continue to, to see nachas from, from each other and simcha from each other, and uh, we wish Yerushvach uh, Mil well, wish everyone well, and, uh, and there should only be a chizik, Adam Omal Yulad, and that's what we're here for. The Amelis, and we have the Amelis, Bez Hashem, Azor Bedim, or Minuk Soro, which reap the benefits of the fruits that come out of the of this Amelis. <laughs>